Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Omolara Obafemi. I'm a content creator living in Canada. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being the VHs. I really do not take you for granted. Today is officially our first year in Canada, like when we landed. March 11th, 2022, we came into Canada myself my husband and our toddler and yes it's march 11th 2023 yay so first off how do i feel like yeah so uh it has been wonderful so far to be honest it feels like we moved in yesterday right that's how it feels to me like i feel like i have not settled in well enough so maybe by the time i'm counting two years three years then i'm like oh yeah I'm in another country and I'm settled. Yeah, so basically that is. Yeah, so I'll just be talking about culture shocks, things that shocked me coming into Canada. In the past one year has been reoccurrent and all of that. Yeah. So let's get right into the video. Before we get right into the video, have you subscribed? If you have not subscribed, yeah, praise it right now. Praise it. Good. I trust you. So for me, the first thing that I would say I found it hard to adjust to is the weather. And then that they told us, oh, Canada is cold and Canada is cold, Canada is cold. Yeah, but it's actually not cold until you get there. You don't, like, what I mean is, for me, I would be looking outside and I'm like, oh, it's sunny, it's not bad. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> One thing is you have to make sure that you do not judge how cold it is by the sun. The sun in this Canada is not sunny. Like the sun does not sun. It will be shining and everything, but it's not. But okay, yeah, sun during summer is actually like hot, hot that we get to use the AC. Yes, we actually turn on the AC. People will be like, ah, but Canada is always cold. No, during summer, <laughs> the hot can be hot. That everywhere will be hot. The house will be hot, and we have to use the AC, right? That's one thing that was shocking to me because I didn't expect that we would need the AC. I was like, oh, even during summer, it might be cold, right? But for winter, ah, winter is winter. Like when it is minus three, minus five, we are saying, oh, the weather is okay today. Where I'm coming from, I've never seen minus three or minus five. But like, they're saying, oh, it's nice out today, and I'm like, it's nice out today, okay. So when they're saying it's bad, it's like minus twenty three, minus thirty one, minus forty. There are times it will even be like minus 17 and to say oh minus 17 but feels like minus 33 meaning you're gonna double up <laughs> so the weather is one thing that would forever be shocking to me i do not know when i'll get used to it but it's shocking it's too shocking and it's still gonna be shocking one thing i can't get used to taxes I know when we're living, we're like, oh yes, you pay taxes, but I can't get used to it. Like, I can't get used to seeing my paycheck this way and seeing my taxes being deducted this way. Nah. And the fact that once you want to buy something, they have to add your taxes to it before you know the end price. Because whatever you see on that line, it's not the end price. By the time you get to the counter, it's a different price. When you order things online, by the time you enter your zip code, postal code, it's a different price. So I can't get used to the taxes. But the good part about the taxes, though, is the fact that oh, when you file your taxes, you get paid back. Like if they see it, shall that you have paid so much, so you get paid back. But that's just it's like when we file our taxes, which I think we got a couple of dollars back, yeah. And then also, it's just the same way you get back if you are owing them, they will write it there, you will return money back to them. But like, I think people that would owe are probably like entrepreneurs and people like have registered business and stuff. I feel like those are the ones that might owe taxes. Here, they see things like oh, lakes, mountains as big deals. Like, oh, yeah, we're gonna spend the weekend at the lake, and I'm like, you just want to come be watching what I'm moving. I can't relate but like i'm just starting to get used to that like i'm starting to get used to appreciating my environment like oh i'll see one mountain or i'll see the sun setting and all this i'm like oh this is actually beautiful let me take a picture or i'll see like a snow forming something and I'm like oh this is beautiful let me take a picture so i am just 
so i'm actually just learning to appreciate my environment here yeah so i don't know if this is i don't know if this is because of covid but everything has to be booked like every appointment has to be booked god there was a time bobo had an appointment with in the doctor's face right so he went and they were like oh he should come back so you didn't know that it was supposed to call again to book another appointment do you know the time he went back there they were like he didn't have an appointment so they could not attend to him and it's like i drove almost one hour to come here and you're telling me this so if you like drive five hours if you don't have appointments these are the blueprints at you is ever you have an appointment yes you come in or you don't have an appointment and if they have like maybe wait period they can tell you oh, you can wait but that's not going to guarantee they're going to attend to you or not so one thing that was shocking to me I, that's why i said i don't know if it's because of covid effects like after covid effects but yeah we came after covid so i guess yeah and uh, like you have to book for everything i want to go and write anything i have to call the gr bookings because like i'm so used to it now that i don't just walk in anywhere I would have to call them first, check Google for their numbers. Okay, do I need to book an appointment before coming in? Yeah, if not, if you dedicate time for anything, I don't have appointments, you're gonna go back home empty handed. Yeah, and then angles like in Nigeria, now if somebody invites you, like majority, somebody invites you as the person who definitely like have to cover your views, right? It's not like mandatory, but like that's just the way we do the thing, and even if the person does not cover your views. I don't know. The person should buy something, to be honest. But here, even if the adults are saying, Oh, you're sleepy. Oh, wake up. Let's go. When you get there, ready to pick your tabs, my dear. You will settle your view by yourself. I don't know about dates because um, I came here marriage, right? So I don't know about how dates go. But like, I mean, even friendship and out here and stuff, we pick our tabs. But like, there are times, because I'm so used to it, right? There are times I'm like, Oh, I'm paying for this. And they'll be wondering, like, what are you paying? why but that's how i am like where we come from if you're inviting somebody you get to pay or somebody covers like we don't we really split split views as in we really but like they make it so easy here that they know what this person took what the other person took and yet i need to come and give you your views separately so still on that topic about paying bills they like tips here like almost everything you get delivery you are paying with your card you will still have to press there if you want tip or no like Five percent, ten percent, anything. Some people write the amount, one dollar, two. Like everything, you want to tip or you want to donate. There's always one thing. So like that's another thing that was shocking for me though, because tipping is not always on our POS. Fencing, yeah, that was one thing that was a big deal to me. Where I'm coming from, if the fence is not so high that you can't even see the compound, they have no fence the house. But here, you're like looking at people literally opening their door to go in. If people not even want to fence, they will fence with like very low fence that even their three year old can climb over the fence and come out. So that's one thing that was oh, shocking for me here though. Like no matter like no matter how boxed up you want to be, some don't even fence. Like they might have all of the cars and it it actually just talks about how good the security is and all of that because if not they will probably have to be fencing so high and all that but like even the fence itself is like very very small that you can go there and eat it with a blow and it goes off yeah so like that's one thing that was shocking for me here the fence and yes the last point this one is not like i would not say so shocking but it's something i would like people to be aware of as well if you're moving to canada or if you're in canada and you plan to work with other people most people I've told me that I talk so fast so I don't know if it's an African thing or if it's me personally because nobody else complains around me right like but around me I have Nigerians right like my husband and then when I'm talking with my family members over the phone so they don't say I'm talking fast but like at work I've had like two of my leaders two of my team leaders say oh you need to cool down like Clara you actually need to cool down when talking you talk too fast like when you're saying one two steps you're at the end and the client is like where are you right so that's another thing i think we nigerians talk too fast so coming here you have to slow down on that pace and yeah 
I don't know. Do you think you talk too fast? Let me know. <laughs> do you think I talk too fast? Please let me know as well. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for celebrating with me. Please make sure to like this video, share the link, and subscribe to this channel if you are yet to. See you in my next video. Bye. If you love me, let me hear you say my name, my name. If you love me, let me hear you, babe.